Hey guys, this is Jerry Orr's A Point for Kids First. Today we're reviewing the new documentary, Journey to Space. This film does a fantastic job talking about space shuttles, International Space Station, and even the journey to Mars happening in the 2030s. This film takes place from the 1970s to present today as they talk about the space shuttles, why they were built, what their purpose is, the International Space Station, why it was built, how old it is, what it's made of, how it works, and a whole bunch of other cool things. And it even talks about Orion and a whole bunch of other Mars crafts that we're going to use in the 2030s and 2020s to get humans to Mars for the very first time ever. It's kind of like the Apollo missions all over again. It's an age of exploration, space exploration, instead of just going to, I don't know, the moon. We're going to deep space where no human has ever gone. We're going to land on Mars, and humans are going to live there for months at a time. It's going to be truly amazing to see that. And it's very interesting to watch this film and look at all the technologies they're using and how so much has changed, how so much has, hasn't changed. Like the boosters they're going to use on lots of the rockets, they've used for 20, 30 years now. It's really amazing how so many things stay the same for so long. I honestly thought this film is fantastic. They did such a good job with camera shots and designing it. You know, most of the screenings for this film are in huge IMAX 3D Science Center screens. And I think it looks amazing seeing the whole world and seeing the seeing Mars and all the missions and the vehicles we're talking about. I think they did such a wonderful job with that. Now, one of my favorite scenes definitely has to be when they're talking about a simulation program. Pretty much uh, astronauts that are training to go to Mars, they're going through the simulation, so once they land on Mars, they're not new to this whole area. They have like a simulation boot, something that looks like a futuristic movie, where uh, it's kind of like pops up with all the screens, so it looks like Mars is in front of you. You're in the rover and you have to drive around, you have to pick up things. It's kind of like a virtual reality video game, except it's used for people who are actually going to go to Mars. And I think it's so cool how they show that Space is a magical and beautiful thing, but it's also a dangerous thing and should not be laughed at. Now, if you would like to see this film, it is in theaters near you October 29th. I also recommend it to ages really 4 to 18. I just think 1 through 3 year olds want to enjoy it as much. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. Definitely check out this film if you are a NASA buff or if you love space in general because this is the film for you. If you don't, I still think this film would be very educational and very cool. It's kind of like how they're talking about before the moon missions, how people were going to go to the moon and then how it's a new age of exploration. It's kind of like that, but for 2015 and for 2020 and 30, how we're going to try to get to Mars. And further than that, we're going to try to capture asteroids and so many things from futuristic films we thought we would have achieved for hundreds and hundreds of years. But it's happening in our lifetimes, and it's so cool. And I think this film does such a nice job inspiring the next generation. I'm Jerry Orr, supporting for Kids First. Bye!